We're gonna electroform this. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna, gonna work. It's gonna happen. Somebody help me. Let's do this again! Yeah. What? <laughs> gotta, you gotta moisten the corners. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, so what I wanted to do today was kind of create like a, like a, like a gilded sort of bouquet of flowers. I want to put my one time of electroforming, the, the skills that I acquired with that one time of electroforming, I want to put that to the test already. And I want to see if I can electroform a bunch of flowers and then put them together, you know, create like a, a copper flower bouquet. I feel like that the vision that I have of this is Pop so off. cool. I have no idea if it's, I don't know why it wouldn't work. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Yeah. Right? Obviously it's gonna be a little short stubby one because I only have a cup that's like this tall so I can't do like full, you know, stem flowers. But it's, you know, it's gonna be the cutest little metal flower bouquet. Metal flower bouquet, but they're real. A whole new way of preserving flowers. That's pretty metal. Mm -hmm. It is pretty metal, isn't it? First things first, we are going to dry these flowers in silica gel and let's get started. Switch them to the angle so they can see my tote. I am going to get a layer of silica gel on the bottom. Now that we've got our layer of silica gel on the bottom, we're gonna get started on taking some of our flowers. Ooh, she's soft. And I'm gonna get them in. Cutie. So I'm gonna have to like sort of put silica gel in here and then also lay them down. I'm gonna try to like control myself and not do 500 flowers. I'm gonna try to like control myself and not do 500 flowers. All right, I think for these, I'm gonna try to put them face down. That's fine. So I think this is gonna be another one like the spray roses where I'm gonna have to like sort of fill it and then try to lay it down. I don't know if that's gonna work. The entire reason that I bought some of those flowers is for this, the brain celosia. Isn't she lovely? I have no idea what this is gonna dry like or like even if I get it dried, let's say I get it sealed and let's say I get the conductive paint on it. What is this gonna look like electroformed and is it even going to work? Be stunning. Freaking stunning. All right, so next step is we are going to fill the ones that we have to fill, and then we're gonna cover this entire situation. We did it! We did. All right, so it has been a couple of days for a silica gel flowers. Every flower kind of has its own time frame that it will dry in. And if you leave it for too long, it could get really crispy and it'll fall apart. Or if you don't leave it in long enough, it'll stay like squishy and floppy. And if you try to do anything with it, it could strip the color out of it entirely. So you wanna make sure that it is completely dry. Electroforming requires a flower to be completely dry as well. So our Black Eyed Susans are done. You can tell that they, they're they bordering the line of crispy. What I also discovered was one of the spray roses that we put in is done. So here's our Brain Celosia. The stem definitely feels dry. Hmm. Ooh. It feels pretty stiff. I'm surprised, but I think the brain celosia is done, dried, and ready to hopefully be electroform. Imagine. Imagine if this works. This daisy feels pretty done. Look how cute! Oh my god. 
This guy is very delicate. The petals in the middle are very loose. Sealant on, it should... I'm hoping that it'll give it some, like, stability. <gasps> oh my god. Look how beautiful! Look how many petals in this one! Alright, welcome to the future, I guess. We have some steps to do before I can kind of catch you up on what happened. So, we're going to take the flower- wait, where are we in the story? <laughs> flowers out the gel. The flowers out the gel. So now, we're gonna dip them in sealant. And then we're gonna dip them again. And now we're gonna dip them in conductive paint. Mad Woman voiceover. The reason for the mysterious cup switch here is just that I needed more space because the celosia was big. And now we're gonna dip them again. Dip, 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 dip. Dip, dip. Now you're kind of caught up. I mean, not really. Um, you, you, you missed out on three failed attempts of, what? Three failed. Two failed. We have one success. I can't, what's, what's happening is I'm getting that, like, matte salmon-y finish. But we did get some, like, brass Dremel tool things, so I think we're gonna shine them up with that, and, um, hopefully it works out. Anyway, I have a brain. A brain celosia. That I'm going to try to electroform. If this doesn't work out... We're all leaving and everyone's fired. Whoa. Yeah, because your job is on the line here. So this is what it looks like with the conductive paint on it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say it. We're going to electroform this. Yep. <laughs> it's going to work. Gonna okay, pass. so our setup is ready. Here's a crash course in um, electroforming and the setup for it. So I have my bus bar. We've got some clippies that kind of hold the bus bar on top of the cup. I have the thing that's going to be electroformed, which is the cathode. cathode. <laughs> I have it connected to the bus bar with some like really sort of malleable, like bendy wire. So I really squish it onto the bus bar so that I can avoid having to use an anchor because with like organic stuff, it wants to float. But this wire like really is tight on the bus bar. So it kind of holds it there. This wire is copper. And that is the setup along with 42 and a half total. 40 inches will be submerged. And we have the two and a half inches for the wire to connect to. Right. Right. Masks. Submerge the anode. Cathode. Cathode. Okay, okay. It has been four hours, and we're going to check and see how it's looking. Wow, it looks weird. So there's still some like, you know, conductive paint on the like inside crevices. And obviously like everything is that like sort of peachy color and it is not 
shiny coppery like everything else this is the like literal issue that we've been having i can't get anything to be shiny besides the first thing that we did so oversaturation of copper ions in the solution from too much surface area of the anode so too much copper coil exactly it's only been four hours and that's the low end i think it's the copper coil that we've been putting in what do you think about the crevices on the inside they're still black that see that part makes me think maybe i have to be a longer it also seems like a really fine line. It's a small hitbox. Like to get this right, you have to get pretty close to the correct amount of copper coil. Okay, it's how long, how many hours has this thing been in? 11 hours. 11 hours. Eh, it's still matte, but all the inside that was still black from the conductive paint is now at least this peachy color. Yeah. So I think what we can do tomorrow is, wow, it's like hard, is sort of go at it with my Dremel tool and brass like wire wheel. I'm gonna try to shine this up tomorrow. This is the problem I've been having for the past week. Let's take it, everything apart and cry. I'm gonna dunk it in just to like rinse it off and get the electroforming solution off. I've got the bottle that I'm gonna put the solution back into. We have a funnel and then a couple of coffee filters and I'm going to try to filter out as much of the copper as I can so that we can reuse this. All right, you are not rid of me yet. I have more weird things to explain. So I'm filling up my cup with the electroforming solution. We've got our copper coil in there. I do have an anchor for this one. This was before I realized that I could like squeeze the wire to the bus bar instead of doing an anchor. Anyway, we are plugging in those red and black wires and now we are electroforming some seeded eucalyptus. Moving swiftly along because this is a series of unfortunate events, electroforming style. So now we're putting in something that looks like dried Queen Anne's lace or something. So I've plugged in the wires. Here's what it looks like. It gets all bubbly and copper really builds up on that wire that connects to the piece. Anyway, this is it being electroformed. It does turn out matte and salmon-y just like all the others. Matt. Matt. So this one was in for how long? Six hours. Somebody help me. <laughs> and welcome to one of the only successes that this video will see. We have some seeded eucalyptus, a really pretty stem of it as well. So I'm just getting my electroforming solution in there, a little bit of distilled water to get it up to the 1000 milliliter line. Here's the seeded eucalyptus. It is coated in all the things which you guys saw. We are submerging it with all the correct things, the copper wire connected to it on the bus bar. Everything's good. So now we will connect the red wire to the copper coil and the black wire to the skinny copper wire that is connected to the piece. And now over on our power supply, everything is basically zeroed out. I don't know why the voltage is 001, but I put the ampage up to 0.65. One of the most difficult things about electroforming plants or flowers is you're supposed to like calculate the surface area of the piece. It is very difficult to fi figure out the surface area of eucalyptus. But anyway, check out the bubbles. So now some hours later, we're gonna take it out and check it out and you might notice that part of it is shiny and coppery and the other part of it is still matte. So I put it in for around 12 hours. Okay, so we have many flowers, well not many, but you know, that are matte and like peachy. So I'm gonna take my Dremel tool which has a brass wire wheel attachment on the front and I'm gonna try to shine it up because it says that you can do that. And it did work for one of the eucalyptuses. It worked.
That one looks pretty shiny, right? Yeah, it's not bad. You remember when I said this was going to be a bouquet of flowers? <laughs> a bouquet of metal flowers? I mean, what we do have are a couple of metal flowers, definitely for sure, but is it a bouquet? No. And did they all, like, get shiny coppery? No. <laughs> I feel like I haven't failed this hard. <laughs> uh, ever? Um, like, literally ever. I mean, there was that resin project with the swirly that I tried to do, like, a 3D... I don't know if I failed this hard before. And what's crazy is, like, the first one that we did came out shiny and coppery. And then after that, failure after failure after failure. <laughs> and I was able to, like, shine some of the, like, failures up with the brass like Dremel tool head, but dang, did I underestimate how much work this would be. It was like, we almost had it <laughs> each time. So here's a few clips of um some of the Electroform flowers that we have. Bouquet, no, but Electroform flowers, yes. The brain solosha is pretty cool. I obviously couldn't get to like every little nook and cranny in it to like shine it up, but it does look very cool. It's not coppery, it's almost like bronzy. So did I leave it in for too long? Some of them I'm like, okay, I did not leave this in for long enough, and others I was like, I toasted this thing. I kind of failed, I kind of succeeded, and that is just the definition of art, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> this was a series of unfortunate experiments and failures <laughs> some some sort of successes one 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 success so if you watched this far into this train wreck of a video thanks so much i really really appreciate you i feel like i do need to mention this has nothing to do with the video i just i feel like i need to mention on my main channel because i am going to talk about this on my vlog channel i am struggling lately uh, with my mental health and I throughout this entire week of working on this project I mean uh, it was at an all-time low not an all-time I've definitely hit much lower before but uh, as of recent it was definitely an all-time low and to make art through that like keep keep working on this project throughout feeling the way that I feel and felt because honestly every day is like kind of different and I'm doing my best to sort of separate myself from my own thoughts. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. I think I just want to be open and upfront about it and not just be like, hey guys, let's, let's you know, make something crazy uh, when I don't feel super fun and crazy. Because I don't ever want to put on a show. Do you know what I mean? And I think also one of the main reasons that I have always been so... Uh, open about this, annoyingly open <laughs> um, about my feelings and my mental health is, you know, when I'm talking about this, I'm always thinking about who is watching. And if anything I ever say makes anybody, even a single person, feel like they're not alone because they feel similarly, then that 
you know, that's worth it to me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and being there for me and, and being interested in the things that I'm doing. Art has always been my entire life. I'm so grateful that I get to do this. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel and follow me on, you can follow me on Instagram, I'm kind of taking a break. Um, Pinterest and TikTok. That's where I am right now. You can find me on Pinterest and TikTok and mostly on my vlog channel. Everything is at Artsy Mad Woman besides my vlog channel that is not so artsy. You can also become a member of this channel. We've got emotes and badges that I made myself. We do bonus videos. We're going to do bonus streams and I did get a sewing machine that I kind of want to unbox and set up with you guys live on stream like a members only stream. So the link to become a member is down in the description and we also have merch. The merch is super cute like I, I genuinely love it. This is what it looks like and the link for this is also down in the description. I love you guys to absolute death and i will see you in the next video goodbye